What's up everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to import products from CJ Dropshipping to your WooCommerce store or to connect your CJ Dropshipping to your WooCommerce account. So first of all you'll need to have a WooCommerce uh, store, uh, so, uh, you have to be signed up. Here as you can see I have my WooCommerce uh, store page open and I have my dashboard open and here on the left you have all the options available. So, um, and also you have to have a CJ dropshipping account. So you go to cjdropshipping.com and you'll need to create an account absolutely free and be signed into your account. So um, to connect your uh, CJ dropshipping account to your WooCommerce to import products from CJ dropshipping here, you'll need to uh, do it. You can do it in uh, one way or another. So. One way to do it is to uh, uh, scroll down here till you go to plugins and then click on add new here. All this is from your uh, WooCommerce account and then search plugins for CJ drop shipping. Okay. And uh, it will load up automatically and you should see a CJ drop shipping uh, plugin here. If you don't see it, then it's okay, you can do the other method. So the other method, we will do it uh, from the CJ dropshipping website itself. Here, I'm on the CJ dropshipping account, I'm signed into uh, my account. And what you need to do is go to authorization. And here you can authorize or connect your uh, stores from multiple platforms like uh, TikTok, WooCommerce, eBay, Etsy, AliExpress, and others. And what you want to do is connect our WooCommerce store here. So we'll click on WooCommerce. And here it says that you haven't authorized any stores yet. So you'll need to click here on uh, add store. Let's close this pop up. You need to click on add store here. And then what you want to do is copy the WooCommerce store link. You can get it if you go to your WooCommerce uh, website, then go to uh, the uh, dashboard here. Okay, that will be uh, the home. And then you want to copy this link before the slash WP admin. Okay, copy or control C. And then go to uh, CJ dropshipping and paste the link here. So paste it. Okay, and click on authorize. Okay, it'll detect your uh, WooCommerce account and it'll display your, your WooCommerce username here and it'll ask you to approve. So it's, if it is your account, indeed your WooCommerce account, you'll need to click here on approve and it'll tell you that the authorization is successful. Now you've successfully connected your CJ dropship account to your WooCommerce store. Now um, let's uh, go to our WooCommerce and go to the products here and click on all products. You'll see here that uh, I have not added any products yet to uh, my store. Now let's add a product uh, from CJ dropshipping. So let's go back to CJ dropshipping, close this uh, pop up another time. And um, let's uh, scroll down a bit here. Okay, uh, sorry, let's let's go back to CJ dropshipping main page. And from the main page from the home page here, we will uh, scroll down a bit to view the featured uh, products. Now the page is uh, still loading. Okay, now here you have like uh, some trending products. So let's scroll down till, okay, let's close this pop up. Okay, never remind me again. Okay, close it. Now, let's uh, view a product here. Search for uh, products. Okay, you have uh, many categories of products here. And if you scroll down, you'll uh, reach this section where it will recommend products for e-commerce platforms. Um, we can go ahead and choose WooCommerce or you can do so with any product uh, from the featured products on the home page. So let's click on WooCommerce. And here you'll find some featured uh, products for WooCommerce. So um, let's scroll down, wait for the products to load up and then uh, choose a product that we like. So let's say I like uh, this pendant right here, this uh, crystal uh, pendant. Okay, now let's uh, list it. We can list this product here, click on list. It'll automatically open the product page and open the pop-up to list the product here. 
and here you can view your connected shops so this one is like a shopify store and um okay let's uh, close this pop-up okay now let's uh, choose from the drop down menu here the woocommerce store that we uh, connected okay uh, now let's view the product details ships from china warehouse okay ship to uh, united states uh, shipping method uh, jewel shipping you can choose the shipping method that you want and here you can view the products and uh, or sorry the variants of the product you can view here some colors and uh, some uh, the prices and so on and here like for example uh, for this variable or this variation of the product here this one you can also choose to add the variations that you want so you can check them or uncheck them all here is the price like uh, for uh, the item you can add your price here this price that will show on your website so let's add for example like 20 dollars uh, okay you can do so for each of the variables and um, okay all looks good now let's click on uh, list it now and you can also edit it before listing so for now let's click on list it now okay please select the category sorry so uh, let's go uh, up and select the category here you can select from uh, any available category so let's uh, click on categorize the uncategorized here that's the option that uh, shows up okay the list doesn't load however let's uh, i chose like anything for now for the videos just to show you okay now let's click on list it now okay enter your store price okay so um instead of adding the price for each one let's only add this uh, variable to our store now let's list it okay and we will wait for the processing to uh, complete now listing in progress and it says that once it is done listing it will be uh, managed in the listed page here so let's uh, click on the uh, and on listing while it's listing it'll be on the on listing page so let's view the listed page here okay now uh, as you can see here the uh, product is now uh, listed okay we can delete it or we can uh, keep it now now let's see if the product is now synced to our products on the woocommerce let's go back to the products page let's uh, click on it again to uh, update it or refresh it and as you can see here the product is now added into our woocommerce store it is shown in the products page here the hot selling stone crystal pillar pendant and we can view it we can duplicate it we can edit the details and the price and everything at as you can see it is listed with the price that uh, we uh, added that's the 20 dollars so you it is it sells for like it was like three or six dollars i don't remember with shipping however you sell it for 20 dollars and you can keep the price difference as a profit so that was like a uh, quick video a tutorial on how to connect your CJ dropshipping account to your WooCommerce account and add products from CJ dropshipping to sell them on your WooCommerce store.